It has been announced today that Prince Andrew is officially going to lose his security personnel at his home on the Windsor estate. According to reports, the king announced that he is no longer prepared to privately fund his brother's guards, amid speculation that he wants to remove him from the royal lodge entirely. Andrew's security had been privately funded by Charles after he lost publicly funded police protection in 2022. According to The Sun on Sunday, members of the current security detail have been told by King Charles himself that their services will no longer be needed from November. A palace insider told the newspaper that King Charles cutting off Prince Andrew's security is a huge move. Now, everyone is speculating whether this means the Duke will have to leave the Royal Lodge, because what other reason could there be to take his security away? It isn't a secret that the King wants him out. This is public knowledge. The Duke of York has been sidelined since his disastrous Newsnight interview in 2019, as we all know, and of course, due to his relationship with Epstein, the lawsuits, court dates, and the FBI wanting him, it all became an absolute mess for Andrew. He could not meet the pound 400, 000 a year upkeep for the 30-room Royal Lodge, which is worth around pound 30 million, he did sign a 75-year lease in 2003, though the son mentioned that both Charles and Andrew are staying at Balmoral in Scotland this weekend, and pressure on Andrew continues to mount. It's an absolute shock to a lot of people, especially at Balmoral, that his security has been cut. This is very bad news for him, probably the worst news I've documented on Andrew since everything related to Epstein and that entire scandal which he still hasn't fully addressed. Earlier this year, more lawsuits and allegations about Andrew came up, as well as all those secret Epstein files, which at this point seem like a fever dream. The fact that all of that took place in January just feels surreal. But now, with him losing his security, considering he's always out and about with his horses, set in his ways a few weeks ago, there was a report that he and Fergie might get married again. Thank the Lord that isn't happening. I believe it's just a rumor. We don't need another royal wedding with Fergie and Andrew. Nobody is asking for it. There's no demand for it, and it doesn't make any sense. If anything, it's just a wash of good PR at best. Andrew losing his security means that time is ticking. He will likely need to leave the Royal Lodge pretty soon because, really, where else can he go? He refused to move to Frogmore Cottage, so I don't know where he's going to go, but he will absolutely be furious that his brother is cutting off the security that has been funded by the taxpayers, especially since he lost his publicly funded protection in 2022. The fact that King Charles has done this is crazy to me like crazy, your own brother, and Charles has told Andrew's security detail, we don't need your services anymore, thank you, you can go home, without asking Andrew or getting his permission. Now, what is Andrew going to do next? Where is he going to go next? Apparently, at one point, he was refusing to leave his house, even locking himself inside when we talked about this a few months ago. This whole scenario between these two is a critical relationship that we should keep an eye on and not just focus on Kate or what's going on with Meghan and Harry. The dynamic between these two is deteriorating fast. I think this is a radical move and King Charles is letting not only Andrew and his people know but also the entire aristocratic society and the public that he's done with his brother in any way.